This conference will now be recorded. Hi, this is Bill O'Brien, 9th District Councilman and Chairman of the Parks Rec Committee, calling to order the February 2nd, 2023 meeting of the Park and Recreation Committee. And let me turn my phone off. <laughs> and isn't that funny? That's Matt Salerno calling. Uh, so, let's see, what time was it, Aileen? 6.01? 6 o'clock on the nose. Oh, good. So again, let's start again with a, just a moment of silence for Guy Stelmack, who served on this committee for many years and actually spent a lot of time with Bob Jaco working on the dog park uh, review. So a silent, a moment of silence for Guy. Okay, thanks. Too many young people dying these days. Ugh. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes of January 5th, 2023? Um, I have read through them and I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. Thanks, Paul. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any Aye. opposed? Okay, passes unanimously. Thank you. Uh, Chad isn't on yet, is he? I don't even know if Chad's coming on because he's been out of work. He had hip surgery and then some other issue. Ooh. Yes, so Chad is, um, he's home now. I've been uh, emailing back and forth with him, but I don't know if he's on, on the call. He is not. Okay. Okay, so we'll skip over that I do now. have um, a report he did for the, um, the mayor's report. I can find it and read it to you guys if you want. Okay. You want to um, do that now or you want to do your report first? Uh, no, I could do his. Let me just find it on my computer. Hold on. Somebody is joining. What's up, Jake? Is that you? Someone oh, just Ken, call in. Oh, Ken, Ken is on now. All right, I have Chad's report. If you guys can hear me, we can hear yes. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, he starts with snowstorms. Obviously, it's nothing to report. Um, park is working on work orders that are better suited for winter time. Fence lines, stone walls, parks, property borders. Um. Tree trimming, brush trimming work completed, and they are also collecting all the Christmas trees. Um, let's see, they're working on plans um, to try and bring back um, sales at the golf course of some retail items. So they're working on that. Um, Big Belly collected an average of 1.0 units per day in January, 80 units in the town, uh, 40 trash and 40 recycling. Total trash collected was 9,828 gallons. Um, right now they're in progress at Short Beach and Deluca Fields to put up the LED upgrades for the lights. The equipment has been delivered at both sites. Contractor began work on removing the old fixtures and work has been suspended due to the warm weather patterns. A very large percentage of poles fixtures need to be accessed for grass field areas the grass is too soft for the machinery to operate on and will do massive damage. As the weather patterns change, work can be performed. Uh, the contactor will reach out with an updated timeline. Um, let's see. They bought 25 black steel six foot benches that will be installed at various parks around town. He doesn't list them. Um, baseball, softball fields will be worked on um, as spring conditions improve and um that's it that's chad's report that he reported to the mayor thanks amy you can anybody have any questions? i don't know if i can help okay i guess uh we can go on to your report all right that went up on the computer here and i'm in the office so the wi-fi is terrible so all right um recreation report 
We're currently running um, regular programs, dance, art, kitchen kids, girls basketball. We started uh, dodgeball, which has been hugely successful. Um, in the spring, we're going to go back to our outside uh, programming. Um, probably we're starting end of March. We're going to be doing soccer, basketball, football, track, archery, tennis. And I am currently working with the Stratford High School wrestling coach to try and do a wrestling program for youth at Stratford High. It's still in the works. Um, we're starting our summer camp preparation. Um, we have our working, we're right now all of our staff um, to let us know if they're coming back. And then Andre's in the process of setting up uh, job fairs in both high schools and all our jobs posted online. If you have anyone interested, they need to send their application to HR. Um, we're starting indoor spring volleyball for adults. Our league will start at the end of March. And I'm slowly starting to put together the information for the adult and co-ed um, softball leagues, which start in May. We have um, joined with both middle school PTAs, the Flood and Worcester, to put on SpongeBob the Musical. Um, we're just starting auditions, and the play is um, set to be at the end of April. Uh, swimming. We're doing swim lessons at El Agrasso on Saturdays and Sundays. We started for the first time running some private swimming lessons at Ella. Um, so far, very successful. Um, we are in our second session, so we're hoping that continues. Uh, we're still doing aqua aerobics. And the YMCA of Milford will be concluding um, using both our pools uh, at the end of February. Their pools should be open and ready to go. Uh, pickleball is going well here at Bird's Eye. I've had a lot of requests to do pickleball in the evenings. So once basketball season ends, I'm going to try to find one day a week um, in the evening where I can do some indoor pickleball in, you know, April and May, and then hopefully they'll be everyone will be outside starting in, you know, June. Um, Sterling House started their pickleball lessons here, which have been very successful. They're full. They have a wait list. Um, they're hoping when we do our night pickleball that maybe they can do lessons prior. I'm also working with Sterling House on trying to do a one-day pickleball tournament um, outdoors at Worcester. We're just still putting all the details together. We're not really sure, but we know we want to do it um, kind of like a round robin. And then the top, um, the folks who have the best records move on to the championship round. You know, maybe we'll do a gift card or something for a gift. Um, summer concerts. My dear um, Ed Suleg, who passed away, is not doing concerts, so I did them this year. So if you hate them, you can yell at me, but we are all booked up. Um, we're actually expanding the season. We were going to start on June 27th, but I had a couple bands really want to get in. So we're now starting on June 13th. We end on August 29th. Um, we're in the process of ordering beach stickers for... The next two years, they come out in the July tax bill. Uh, I submitted my budget, so that's in progress, waiting to hear back on that. Um, and that's it. We have, uh, as far as uh, big upcoming events, um, PAL is doing their um, 5K sweetheart race at Booth in February. And um, that's it. If anyone has any questions, I'm open. Nope. Bill, done. Bill wasn't listening, I guess. <laughs> Bill, you're muted. Just, Bill, you're muted if you're talking. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I had a couple of questions. Um, well, first of all, you and Catherine, if you need a certified uh, pickleball instructor, Sue, that's one of the owners of Dockside Cleaners on East Main Street, just finished her um, certification. And she's now going to go to become a referee. And Amy, are, are you using the flood pool at all in the future? So we used the flood pool um, this past January. We ran, um, I had a lot of kids home from college. So we did swimming lessons uh, like a two day a week for um, three weeks. We're going to probably go 
hope to go back to flood pool in the end of March when I have volleyball there. The deal with flood is I have to pay for a custodian to be on site the entire time, so it, it can be. Um, so if I have another program going on in the building, then it it's it works for me to do it. Um, so starting in March, I'll have volleyball there, and we're going to try to be in there at least once a week to do some more lessons and stuff. And then, I don't know, did you mention the spring permit meeting? The spring who meeting? The permit meeting for the, you know, baseball, softball, soccer. Oh, I didn't mention it, um, but I did just send out a big email blast to um, to everyone to start getting their requests into me for, for the spring. I haven't really done a large meeting since COVID. Um, and I did the meeting in the beginning because I was new. But now, you know, it's kind of like a well-oiled machine. Everybody knows what we have. Everybody seems to come back and want to use the same field. So it's almost easier to do it, um, you know, based on requests and I put it in. At this point, I think every almost everybody's the same and has been for a few years. So it's a little bit easier. All right, thanks. Anybody else have any questions for him? If not, we'll go on to continuing items. Longbrook tennis courts, the latest update is it's all about the money. It increased, the cost increase was so much that I guess we'll see what happens with the uh, next capital improvement budget. Ken, you haven't heard anything else about that, have you? No. Yeah. No, unfortunately, I know we all want it to get done, but like everything else, the price went through the roof. Yeah. As far as sliding goes, uh, can't talk about that till we get some snow. <laughs> well, the kids and the guys that plow are very upset, but that's the way it goes. Morgan Francis property. Well, meetings are underway, but this is two or three years away, right, Amy? Yes. So I think in the next month or two, we'll be talking more about it. Oh, Juliet Low Park, the suggestion to rename it. Um, the mayor's not thrilled about that idea. We could put a Billy Howell uh, like plaque down there. We could do something like that. Oh, does anybody think maybe we suggest that and send a recommendation to council? Bill Spall. Yeah, you know, I, I tried looking up this Billy Howell, and it's almost impossible to find her. So I'm kind of against this thing, too, because I'd rather name the, you know, if we're going to rename a park, I'd rather rename it after someone that has contributed to the town in a larger fashion than someone that maybe half of 1% of the people in town know about. So. I think only one person in town knows about her. I know. <laughs> David, <right? laughs> I I couldn't even find her looking her up. I Googled her and everything. So Yeah, I don't know where he got all his information on her. No. So I don't know. Do you want to suggest we scratch this from the agenda? I'd like to suggest that. I'll second that suggestion. Any uh, more discussion? Call in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody, anybody Aye. opposed? Okay, let's scratch that, um, Aileen. Okay. Any other, any new business before we go to a couple of old business items? Bill, you skipped uh, shading at Short Beach. I didn't see that. Shading at Short Beach picnic area by the oh. concession stand. Yeah, we did talk about that. It's not on my agenda. It's on yours, Ken? Yeah. I don't see it on mine either. No, it's not. It's not on mine either. But I actually, Amy, you want to talk about that at all? Um, you're talking about the shading over by the um, concession area that you talked about last time. Yeah. I don't think we really went any further with that because, um, you know, with Chad going out, I wasn't able to connect with him. Okay, um, Aileen, why don't you add that back on for for next time? Okay. 
Okay, then under old business, the uh, Stratford Academy request for a basketball court. I think uh, I think we talked about it with Renee at Public Works possibly, and I thought they were going to maybe look at it. I'll have to double check that Monday night when we have Public Works meeting. Or I'll send an email in advance to her. Anybody else hear anything about that, about the basketball court request? No. And, I mean, no. the footprint is there. Right? And then, as far as the bad, I don't know where the funds came to pay for the water at ship. So I think it has. Oh, Amy broke up there. Sorry, it's the bird's eye building. There's no service. Um, no, I'm saying. However, they paid for the ones at Worcester, and however they paid for the ones at Lordship, I think it has to be the same process. Whatever that process was, I wasn't. A yeah, that was CIP money. Yeah, so that'll be another thing for the CIP uh, budget for next year. Now, for the batting cage at the Luca Field, a couple things. Um, I think I mentioned at one of the meetings that. The Breakettes are looking to put a museum slash Hall of Fame in that spot. Um, Joan Joyce donated $50,000 from her estate for that purpose, and they'll be publicizing that pretty soon. And I think once it's publicized, they're probably going to get a lot of donations from former Breakett players. So we did talk about the fact there's others room at uh, Deluca to put a batting cage. And I mentioned to Amy the other day that could the Babino field batting cage be moved to the Breakettes field if they're no longer using it? When I went by, it looks like it's unused. Amy, should I call Jeff Babino and talk to him? I mean, um, I'd, I'll check with the softball. Uh, Little League runs softball now, so um, I'll find out who's in charge of the little league for the softball. Cause it used to be um, Mike Camperlingo, but his kids are older now. So I'll find out. Okay. And I mean, even if they say, no, they don't use it anymore. They don't need it anymore. I still would talk to Jeff since they paid for it. Bill, where else, Bill, where else could the batting cage go at the Luca? Uh, I would think, there's so much room. I don't know. Maybe out in the outfield, behind the fence. Uh, maybe somewhere along the parking lot. I'd have to take a look. Yeah, I think that outfield's pretty swampy, isn't it? I don't know. Since they did all the work there, I don't. I don't think it's as bad as it used to be. I don't know. We'd have to talk about it and look at it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much wetlands or marsh. <laughs> I mean, you have you have there's room in that parking lot, right? To look at the field to the right, uh, over in that back corner, down the right field line. Yeah. Yeah, that's another possibility. Yeah, I mean, who would make the final decision on that? Yeah, I guess uh, Public Works. <laughs> Bill, Bill, is there any way you can ask Renee or Chad or whoever and um, see if they can start scoping out a plan B if the museum's going to go where plan A was? Yeah. And like you said, if you do that in advance, maybe we can bring it up at uh, Public Works on Monday. Yeah. Because yeah, we, did, we did meet with, um, oh, let's see, I think who was there? I think Tom and Chad might have been there. The mayor was there when we met at DeLuca to look at that site. They were looking at buying a um, prefab building. But now everything's, they're holding back now, considering if they have enough money, would it make more sense to build something that would be a little bigger and a little nicer. So, But it sounds like it's definitely going to happen at some point because the money was specifically left for that reason. <coughs> All right, if there's nothing else. Um, yeah, if you could do that, Bill, before uh, Monday's public works, that would be great. I'll do that. Yeah, I'll check with her tomorrow. 
<laughs> All right, if there's nothing else, uh, next meeting will be Thursday, March 2nd. And to keep Aileen happy, I think we should keep one more virtual until the weather gets better. <laughs> because the, we're going to get hit sir. with snow in February and March, I think. To That's where we're going to get it all. You're right. So. All right. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, thanks. Uh, I see. I see Ken there with his chiefs with his chief shirt on there. Whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to root. I'm, I'm gonna have to root for a good halftime. I guess because I can't root for the Eagles. That's for sure. As a Giants <laughs> fan. <laughs>